Hello and welcome to Science in Seconds. In this video, we're going to explore the amazing world of vaccines and learn how they work to protect us from infectious diseases. First, let's define what a vaccine is. A vaccine is a biological preparation that provides active acquired immunity to a particular disease. It contains a harmless version of the disease-causing microbe, or a part of it, which is called an antigen. When we receive a vaccine, our immune system recognizes the antigen and produces a response, which leads to the development of immunity to that particular disease. Now let's dive into the specifics of how vaccines work. When a vaccine is administered, the antigens in the vaccine stimulate our immune system to produce specific proteins called antibodies. These antibodies then attach themselves to the antigens and neutralize them, preventing them from causing disease. The immune system also produces memory cells that remember the antigen, so if we are exposed to the real disease in the future, our immune system can quickly produce the necessary antibodies to fight off the infection. There are several types of vaccines, but they all work by presenting the immune system with a harmless version of the disease-causing microbe. For example, inactivated or killed vaccines contain a microbe that has been killed or inactivated so that it can no longer cause disease, but still contains antigens that trigger an immune response. Live attenuated vaccines contain a weakened form of the microbe that can still cause an infection, but is much less severe than the actual disease. Finally, subunit, recombinant, or conjugate vaccines contain only specific pieces of the microbe, such as a sugar or protein, that is necessary for the immune system to recognize an immune response. It's important to note that vaccines do not provide immediate protection. It takes time for the immune system to produce antibodies and memory cells, so it can take several weeks for a vaccine to be fully effective. This is why it's important to get vaccinated before exposure to a disease, so that the immune system has time to build up immunity. Vaccines have been extremely effective in preventing the spread of infectious diseases. They have helped to eradicate diseases like smallpox and have greatly reduced the incidence of diseases like polio, measles, and mumps. However, it's important to continue to get vaccinated, as these diseases can still re-emerge if vaccination rates decline. In conclusion, vaccines work by presenting the immune system with a harmless version of the disease-causing microbe which stimulates an immune response and leads to the development of immunity to that particular disease. There are several types of vaccines, but they all work by presenting the immune system with antigens that trigger an immune response. Vaccines have been extremely effective in preventing the spread of infectious diseases, and it's important to continue to get vaccinated to protect ourselves and those around us. Thanks for watching Science in Seconds, and we'll see you next time.